Okay, so uh, hello everyone. This is Neha, and uh, I welcome you all to the platform of Eduite. Today we have Vivek with us, and he would be sharing his interview experience. So, uh, hey Vivek, how are you? Hi Neha, I'm fine. And what about you? Uh, I'm good as well. Uh, so Vivek, uh, would you please uh, give a brief introduction to our audience? Okay, uh, as Neha already said my name, I am Vivek and recently I got placed in the Jubilant in Gravia, which is a chemical based industry. So that's it. Okay, that's great Vivek. Uh, so uh, would you please uh, share with us uh, how you applied for this company and uh, what was the role that you applied for? Actually, Jubilant come in our campus as for a campus recruitment process. So its application form come in October and uh, uh, around first or second week of November, the test of this company has been conducted. And in the third week of November, uh, we have an interview. So this, uh, this is the main uh, Jubilant recruitment process apply for the application. Okay, uh, so this is quite simple. Uh, so actually, what was the role that you were offered? So actually in the Jubilant, we have offered a GT role, which is graduate engineer training. So this is our main role. So in this role, we have uh, been born in a company as a different various role as per our performance and our training. So these roles are designing role, production role and process roles. So combine all these roles, we call it in a simple form that is GT, graduate engineer training. Wow, it's um, a bit tricky and intriguing. All right. Uh, so like what was the procedure of uh, the whole procedure of the whole process and uh, on which platform it was conducted and such things? Uh, actually, for this Jubilant, firstly, we have a uh, Google form that we have, that is circulated in our placement group. And after that, they have uh, shortlisted our resume, uh, filed the application on different criteria like 12 percentage and CGPA. After shortening that, uh, we have a written test, online written test. And then after we have a group discussion and interview. So in online test, we have a 60 question in a 60 minute, 30 for the aptitude round, 30 for the technical. So this is the main process for the recruitment. Okay, uh, do you remember a few questions that were asked in a written exam? Like topic, so, topic from which the questions were asked. So firstly, I will come to the aptitude, aptitude topic. So in the aptitude, it is quite very easy. Uh, distance in time and some fraction type of fraction question and uh, it's a very simple just generally we do from generally that we generally we do that's a uh, differentiation question or integration type question simple and uh, distance time and mainly these are these are the questions from the aptitude and while from the technical in the technical we have from a CRE mass transfer heat transfer good mechanics these are the major portion from where we got the question and in the CRE we have just a small reaction balance question in the mass transfer they be, uh, they basically ask question from the distillation column type of distillation column their designing portion and uh, how the distillation work, different type of distillation. In the similarly in the heat transfer, they ask about different type of heat exchanger, how heat exchanger work, and their principle, and some numerical question uh, regarding LMTD and some conduction question, formula based conduction convection radiation question. These are from the heat transfer. And coming to the fluid mechanics about what is Reynolds number and the dimensionless number, they cover all the dimensionless number and their application uses. And um, they ask about so us about centibody centrifugal pump, how it's work. All they uh, they cover all the pump portion area, pump their what is their efficiency, how pump work in series or parallel combination. So from fluid mechanics, they ask these things: pump and dimensionless number, and some basic question: if the velocity is this, then what is the Reynolds number formula base? Now. Uh, in the thermodynamics, they ask about what is entropy, simple definition, what is entropy? 
how we calculate uh, there is a numerical this is that they have given a delta g delta s and ask what is temperature so such type of question as in the thermodynamics basically the numerical portion is a very formula based all the numericals are formula based and theory uh, they ask mainly theory and uh, some industrial based point industrial based equipment they ask like heat exchanger pump cavitation and uh, uh, distillation column these are their main focus or these are their main point of targets so this is about the technical portion and if we switch towards the gd so gd is around 15 minute so in the gd uh, they randomly give the topic in the gd uh, it's a group of five member so in gd uh, they are giving randomly topic so for me the my topic is railway privatization so this is my topic and from my other colleague they ask about social violence and uh, mob lynching these are the topics and one more topic they are asking is uh, it is it good to launch bullet train in india okay so, so basically are... they are covering all the current affairs yeah yeah current affairs and gd they are from yeah okay so let's come to the preparation part uh, how did you prepare for these sections can you please tell us section wise the preparation of course methods? of course first yes. uh, we will come from the aptitude portion so for the aptitude there are some website firstly india bricks this is a basic website number 2 you will prepare from the face prep in the face prep there is a around 30 to 40 tests Uh, there is a 30 to 40 test of 1 hour so from where we can practice very easily and very well number third is prep insta prep insta so these are the platform for practices in the aptitude portion while for the technical i will i have prefer exam veda so in the exam veda there is a many question for technical portion and sand foundry so these are the mean from where i have prepared for the technical and i have read that thoroughly subject Uh, i have read all the subjects thoroughly so for me it's quite easy in the technical portion okay and what about gd <laughs> gd is a is a i don't think so you have to prepare for the gd you just there if you read the newspaper and you have a, a idea what is running in surroundings or what is running in board then it is sufficient but if you think that your Uh, for the gd it is necessary i have seen some lecture in the youtube how we have to start the gd and how we have to end the gd so okay so i think that is sufficient how in which way we have to speak up in the gd that is sufficient okay okay uh, so after this technical assessment and gd uh, what followed was interview right yeah so okay, in the uh, interview so so yeah. in the interview we have our two portion first one is a hr and second one is a technical so uh, hr our my total interview is around 20 minutes so in 20 minutes 5 minute for the hr round and 15 minutes for the technical so in the hr round they ask basic question introduce yourself why do you want to join our company in 5 years where do you see yourself and uh, these are the some basic question from the hr they ask me these three question then after these i have give the answer all these of these hr question then after in the technical they firstly ask me what is your favorite subject and in which subject you have did your major project and minor project so from these my major project and minor project they have asked me all my technical portion my major project is, is in design of shell and tube heat exchanger and uh, and i have my done internship in a of Uh, in a factory so they uh, my whole interview is generally drive on my internship and my project so my project is on that design of heat exchanger and my internship is in pharmaceutical industries so they completely ask each and everything from the my internship and single to single thing in from my project so very small thing or a very big thing they have just asked from my project so if i tell you my question that this type of question they they ask for in my interview from my project that is design of heat exchanger 
Firstly, they ask me what is Kunz method. Describe. I have described the whole method, and they just uh, put each question in a each step. So I have just explained. They firstly they ask what are the different method of designing a heat exchanger. Now the second question is why do we prefer Kunz method? Number third, uh, which one is better, counter current or co current? Number four question they ask to me. Uh, in generally designing, we choose even number of section pass, like one two pass, one four pass, or two two pass, two one pass. Why don't we use odd number pass, like one three pass, one five pass? Why don't we use such type of passes in a heat exchanger? So they ask me this question. Then they come to the distillation part. So in a distillation, they ask what is that? Firstly, they ask what is a distillation. Define bit dif uh, distillation and tell me the dif uh, dis uh, difference between the distillation and the absorption. So I just tell them the differences and what is the their basic mechanism and this. Then after they ask me uh, in the distillation type of distillation, what are the various type of distillation and uh, they are working, how how they are different and in which industries we will we will use them on which basis. Means their application and why do we use them in the industries? So these are from the distillation. Then they come to the some question, right? In our designing of heat exchanger, okay, what are the different problem come in the industry during the design of heat exchanger? Uh, this one is a question. And then how we will, will increase or decrease the shell passes or tube passes? How the shell passes? How the velocity in the shell pass are uh, change the a diameter of column. These are the question they are asked. They have asked more from me. And then after they come to the fluid mechanics, they, from the fluid mechanics, they ask me about cavitation. What is cavitation? And they ask me what is NPSH cavitation, and uh, how we reduce or how we uh, manage the NPSH or cavitation problem in the pump. So these are the main question. And they hypothetically given us given me a situation that. Uh, 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 given me a situation and from which they give me some numerical value. So in that time, I have to solve that question instantaneously orally that they have given me that this is the diameter of this heat exchanger. This is the length. Fluid is coming from this side, from right side. This is fluid is coming. So they wanted to, they wanted from me that how can I uh, explain that problem means they don't give me that how in which direction fluid is flowing i have to define my direction and i have to tell them this is the right direction you have to choose this direction so this so they are just thinking my logical thinking that how i'm how i'm good in logically so this has happened in my interview so my interview is around 20 minutes so that that's it in my interview what was the focus of this interview like what were they trying to find out? So in the interview, firstly, we will focus on if you have done your internship offline in a factory, in a company. Yeah. So mainly they will focus on your internship, your project. Firstly, uh, I, would, I would like to give an advice while introducing yourself. Give a hint. Like if you have good in your internship or in your project, then set them. Sir, I have done my internship in this. I have my uh, and I have done this project so that they will give some idea so that you can trigger them. Next time they will ask your these question question from these things your internship and your project. And if you have not done your internship or your project, so tell them, sir, I am good in this subject, sir, I am good in master, sir, I am good at heat exchanger, heat transfer. So tell them earlierly in your interview, so in your introduction that sir i am good in this decision so that your interview it's me maximum chances that uh, the interviewer will ask question from these topics that you have already said so from my uh, point of view in the interview the main thing is your project and your internship it's around it's around luck uh, it's around 50 50 it's it may be from your favorite subject it may be from your internship and project so for me in from my it is asked for my internship and my project so it's up to you. It may be possible that they will ask from your favorite subject, or sometime it may be it may be happen that they will ask you from your internship or project. So if you have a good command or internship, so speak them, sir. I have done my internship, so it it is a maximum possibility that the question will ask from your internship. And if you have good command in your subject, 
so tell them sir i am good in this, this subject so they will ask you from the this subject and uh, while regarding the subject i will uh, i would like to say that you will you have to choose some basic subject like mass transfer heat transfer and fluid mechanics these three subjects are analogous and it is a very important the crucial subject in a written paper you will get in a 30 question in 30 you will get 20 question from these three subjects if you cover these three subject your interview will okay and your even you have clear your written very easily if you come at at least three subject fluid mechanics mass transfer heat transfer and if you have more capability then go for the cre Okay, uh, that's a uh, great Vivek. Uh, so, like, actually, you sound pretty confident. But uh, just, uh, I wanted to ask: Were you nervous during or before interview? <laughs> yes, yes, I'm quite nervous. I'm not uh, nervous before my interview, but I'm nervous before my JD. <laughs> actually, okay. list is come. So, in that list, I've seen that some student like resume. <laughs> so, I just thought that how will I compute to them? Okay. So I was nervous at that time. Okay, and how did you overcome that nervousness? <laughs> Yoga. Yoga. Just kidding. Well, that's Just kidding. kidding. <laughs> okay. Uh, then, if not you will. Go faith in yourself. I know only one thing: that faith in yourself. everything will be okay i just don't think i am not overthinking that what will happen or what will not happen i just go and speak that's it just be confident it's okay yeah, that's great it's okay everything is okay we have just prepare and we will okay vivek uh, uh, so apart from this any other advices that uh, you would like to give to our audience so that they would be able to crack this uh, interview or uh, the ss okay so for the interview and the assessment uh, i would like to say that at you should prepare for the gate if you don't want to prepare for the gate but you should at least read your subject your core subject mass transfer heat transfer fluid mechanics and this first i would like to say you have to prepare for the gate if you are in the third year you should prepare for the gate you will get the basic knowledge of your subject this thing will help you in your clearing your written technical portion while for the aptitude round Uh, you can visit india bex and face prep this website for the uh, uh, technical aptitude portion and for the gd uh, gd uh, at uh, when your interview come gates come just read randomly topic which is current affair or any uh, which is topic running at that time just read from the internet or youtube and for the gd round just uh, Uh, see some youtube lectures or from any other sources that how you have you have to start your gd or you have to enter gd these are things and for the interview while in a hr round when they will ask about why do you want to join your company so be prepared for that question very perfectly and sometime they just ask some tricky question or some confusing question uh, from my friend they just ask uh, Uh, are you preparing for the gate so in that question if he said yes means the interview will think that he may or he after 2 3 month he will leave the company so in that case answer wisely say yes okay sir i am preparing but i am preparing for gate for for the placement purpose don't deny in that case sir i am not preparing from the gate or something else that's it so from my from from my side yeah this about sums it all up it uh, thank you vivek it was great to have you with us and uh, it was a pleasure having you with us thank you okay thank you okay